Hello, Harry. A very good Friday. This video is meant to introduce you this streaming server systems compatible with our multimedia displays. So here, this is a complete, almost complete. This system right now, I set up here, is containing all the main modules that we need to use for, for, complete for to complete for to, uh, construct construct, and real on site on-site systems to fulfill customers' need. So here what we need is a PC server. This one is a PC server. And this PC server needs to mount all the software that we provide for to, for to complete this system. And this one is a streaming server. This streaming server is which I quote for you. I quote, I offered to you on the quotation yesterday. This is the same one. And then the display is here. This is a 12.1 inches multimedia display. So this multimedia display right now connect to this system. And it's now, it's right now, it's playing the content from this TV box. This is a Google TV box that I used to connect with our streaming server. To play the videos, to play the media files from the YouTube. If customers has other modules, they can, it's okay, they can choose the preference TV box modules that they want to use for this system. The only, the only limit is they have to offer an HDMI output to the streaming server. Here, which, like this one I have here. And this streaming server can, can stream in the second media sources is a USB USB flash drive which means you can put the videos inside this USB drive and input into the streaming server so so with the PC server with the PC server program that we can choose what media files that we want here this is the streaming server program. As you can see, it has a it has a streaming server main connectors, main connectors program, not program pictures. Here, so you can see this is the real status of the streaming server right now. As you can see right now, it's powered on, and if. It's all in orange and the green color, then it means the streaming server is functional well. There has some instruction shows here that tell you tell the users if there are any abnormal abnormal uh, status. So right now the orange color is means it's playing the content from the TV box. And the green color means it's play the content from the USB drive. So right now, okay, right now we are playing the, as you can see, we are playing the content from the BBC news right here. So okay, first I can show you how we how we change channels from from the TV box. Okay, we use this preview function here. So I can even if you are uh, far away, you can still know what is playing right now on the streaming server by this PC server, by this program. So right now, this is the content. You can check it's the same content. 
and uh, if you want to change to different different channel, you use a remote control. Normally, the TV box offers here a remote control. YouTube. Okay, this remote control. And then you can see here, it's go to the page. It's similar like the, like the computers like the computer's version of the YouTube. So you can switch to different channels by using this remote control. Conveniently. Okay, for example, right now we want to see this news, then we play. Okay, so it's plays. It's plays and uh, in meantime, the display plays also, as you can see. It switch content immediately because it's a streaming. It's a streaming content. So whatever, whatever is a live content, you can say it's, it's live content. So whatever it changes on the TV box, it changes directly on the display in same time. It's it's no it's no lag or. Or any time difference because it's a it's a directly streaming. So right now, I show you another another important function that we can use for this for this PC server best program. This is this one is to control the streaming server control and monitoring streaming server. So which means we need to have another program here. This program is to control the displays, control the multimedia displays. Right now, I only connected to one display is here. If you have more display, it shows one by one in, in the same in the same program, so you can you can select your link O and you can send the same orders to them. How it's connected to different displays? It's using the IP address. As you can see, the IP address the IP address I connect right now is this one. The last segment, oh, sorry, the last segment is one. So okay, I show you how we can. We have we can use this keypad, enter OSD menu, and we can change the IP address from the OS, OSD menu. Right now, the display is on the is first is one IP address IP address. The last segment is one, so we can change to other IP address by here. So you can change to second or third. So you can connect to many, many multimedia displays in the same in the same media sources system. After you set it, you you have to save the settings, and then you exit OSD menu. It's back to the standby status. Okay, so here for the control program, you can still another good function is you can switch to right now we are playing content from TV box. So you can use this program to switch to USB flash drive here. You switch the channel. Okay, so it's switch to play USB drive. How you know you play USB drive? Because you hear you switch to the S3, the other networking, the other streaming port. So, so 
Oh, sorry. So you use a preview function to see the content from the USB drive. Here, it's the video that's right now playing in USB drive. So right now, here. The display is playing content from USB. As you can see, Oh, whoops. This preview function is temporary stop. It's okay. We okay. We preview again. Sometimes it's influenced by the network. Okay, right now is the content in USB drive. And it's same as as what plays in the USB drive. And uh, so it's very it's actually very convenient because right now, Harry, right now we have we have uh, a number of clients that is using the USB plug and play. So via this via this streaming server that we can that we can only use one USB USB flash drive then we can share this flash drive's content to to all the displays on site. So it's actually very convenient. Only it needs a uh, a complete and a stable networking system, networking connection. So in the drawings that I add the Wi-Fi apps and I add the optical fiber and the optical fiber converter is the main purpose of them is to make sure the whole networking system is very stable. And uh, with the stable networking system, then it can send the media media content to to display to display well. Okay, so it's actually influenced by the networking devices also. Okay, if you have any questions, welcome to let me know. Very welcome. Thank you.